Hey guys, how's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Even though the topic, even though the topic is gonna be a little bit more serious and different today, I'm still doing well. Still doing well. So none of you know this. I've not talked about it before. It's not worth talking about, and I'm no different than the other billion other Americans in this country. But I've had high blood pressure and high cholesterol <coughs> nearly my whole adult life. Um, I've never done anything really to try and correct it. I've always ate what I wanted and drank what I wanted. And like anyone else uh, in the good old United States of America. Um, however, yesterday... I had an appointment at the health department, as usual, I go in and I get my medications and get a little checkup and all this and that, and I'm still, my blood pressure is still high, and I have not lost any weight. How have I not lost any weight? The blood pressure don't bother me. My blood pressure has been high for years. What bothers me is, how did I not lose some weight? 2019, I put in over 3,000 miles on my bicycle. How do you not lose weight? I'm not sitting here eating anything else that anyone else does not eat. I'm not overeating anything that no one else does. Why are bodies and metabolisms and all that so different? I've always had a problem of keeping weight off. I've never been, con I've never been what you would consider just fat. But I've always had some meat on my bones. Uh, the only time that I really lost any weight was in my early 20s. Like from 21 to about 24, 25, somewhere in there. Uh, I, got, I lost a lot of weight and got down to about 170 pounds. Which is scrawny for me. Um, so I've been kind of going crazy since yesterday. And confused and looking online and I talked to the lady at the health department and and all these different things about what can I do and how do you do it and because as, as you know uh, sodium salt is as much of a drug as overeating as cigarettes marijuana crack liquor all these other things it's it's an addiction that uh, just con it consumes you and uh, especially it seems like in America it's a bad problem nine times out of ten if you are if you're the age of 30 and up you're gonna have high blood pressure high cholesterol stuff like that on top of that I also have gout so man I'm just uh, I'm trying to calm down I'm trying to get my head clear and I go through these phases once in a while where oh my god I need to do something I need to start eating better and cleaner and try and for about a day or possibly maybe three days to five days I try to change things up and try to do a little better although it's probably not any better but this issue kinda got me thinking a little differently on a more extreme level mostly because I haven't dropped any weight that's just almost insane. Um, anyone else can go out there and ride a bike over 3,000 miles in a year and be 170 pounds and, <coughs> and still eat what I eat. So there's a problem. Uh, I've had my thyroid checked. Supposedly, it's okay. I do not eat any more than the typical male out there. So, I've been going crazy, thinking, oh my god, I need to drop all sodium. I need to change the way I eat it. Maybe I need to be a vegetarian. Maybe I need to be vegan. Maybe I need to this, and maybe I need to that. And then I was, I was on my bus route. Well, I, I was waiting at the school for the kids to get on the bus this afternoon. And I, I just kind of thought in my head, a thought came to me, and it was, relax chill out uh, what you need to do because whenever you start thinking of your diet and what you need to do and oh my gosh this and that and I need to how do you substitute this and that you start getting crazy and clouded and confused 
So what I did was I just kind of calmed down and I said to myself, idiot, calm down. That's what I said. Instead of making things so complicated and trying to figure out what can I eat and what can I cut out and what can I do, I thought, first of all, let's make a list of my basic diet during a week. So that's the first step I'm going to take is I'm going to try to figure out what it is exactly what I eat during a week normally and from that point I'm going to try and substitute something healthier or exclude something from the recipe that can make a difference and I think that that's a good place to start because um, once you start trying to cram all this different stuff into your head and everything's going crazy you get really frustrated and confused and you get lost a little bit in, in the whole thing now we all know that basically you could go have a very clean diet eat you a bowl of oatmeal in the morning a glass of juice a glass of water a glass of milk even a cup of coffee good to go later for a snack grab you a banana an apple a pear some berries whatever the case later for lunch have you a chicken salad with some light dressing some oil and vinegar dressing or or have you just a, a normal regular grilled piece of meat with a plain vegetable with maybe a sweet potato and that goes for the same for supper dinner time now we can sit there and have the same old <coughs> excuse me boring thing because it is boring and that solves the problem that pretty much solves the whole problem but the fact of the matter is who wants to eat that all the time I don't want to eat that all the time I've done it yeah it's okay I can handle it but I don't want to do that that's not a good meal mentally you want to be satisfied mentally as well as internally and physically so basically that's where I'm starting I'm gonna kind of write a list down of what I normally eat throughout the week uh, and the biggest thing that I'm gonna have to cut out are my beloved pickles that I eat I eat pickles all the time the one pickles that I get and that I love and preach about all the time are called Van Holten Big Papa dill pickles. I know they make several different flavors and, and different variations in that, but I normally get the Big Papa dill pickles. And each of those one pickles that come in a pouch, it's one pouch, it's one pickle in a pouch, has almost 4,000 milligrams of sodium. That's a lot of sodium. That's more than twice what you're supposed to have probably in a day, and I'm getting that with one pickle. Add on top of that, I drink the juice out of the package. Uh, add on top of that, not only that, but if I have a jar of pickles in the fridge, a lot of times I'll put pickles on a plate and I put salt on the pickles. I drink the juice out of the jar. A couple days ago, I finished off a jar of pickles on the plate, salt all over them. Plus, I took the jar of pickle juice, dumped the big container of salt, <laughs> into the pickle juice, screwed the lid on, shook it up, and drank. That's how addicted to that that I am. And uh, that's probably my biggest item that I could cut out of my diet. That don't mean I can never have pickles again. But instead of having that to that extreme and eating a pickle every day or every couple of days or whatever the case may be, knock it down to one pickle a week. Substitute the pickle with cucumbers like I did today. I had a whole cucumber No, it's not as good as a pickle It ain't But I made a salad with some uh, Extra virgin olive oil and some lemon juice and some black pepper and some garlic powder and some Italian seasoning mixed it all up and I should have put some vinegar in there as well, but the recipe I looked at didn't call for vinegar, so 
but I just found out vinegar does not have sodium so I'll be doing that uh, but anyway anything you can do to substitute something for something else in some kind of way can only help uh, things have sodium in them that you wouldn't even think I bought a, a big bag of like some mixed beans like 10 12 15 bean soup or whatever and I looked at the ingredients on there and it has sodium the bag of dried beans has sodium why why do beans have sodium it doesn't make sense dried beans you know the kind you gotta cook for a day two days whatever the case may be a few hours several hours you know what I'm talking about why do they have sodium doesn't make sense and you can take your canned vegetables and tomatoes and stuff like that and wash them off real good and it does remove some of the sodium so I did that a couple of days ago whenever I made a, just a little pan of some soup a little pot of soup I washed everything off real good filled the pot up dumped water in the strainer with all the vegetables and the tomatoes and even the chicken I put in there everything was washed off real good so I'm sure it did help because the soup was it tasted a whole lot different and the only thing I added to that was just about maybe a half a cup of some ketchup uh, because it needed something in there so I added about a half a cup of ketchup in there no salt no nothing except black pepper so anyway I'm going going a little crazy here and um, anyway guys if you're struggling with this type of thing I feel you I'm with you but we got to do something baby steps if you recall what about Bob the movie Richard Dreyfuss the, his character wrote a book called baby steps and that's what everything is in life baby steps so baby steps are figure out what you eat every week and see what you can do to make those meals healthier by substituting something for something else or leaving something out and go from there don't panic relax because all that does is raise your heart rate and blood pressure and everything and makes you crazy so I know this is a little different video but I thought I'd throw this out there. If any of you guys are suffering from high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, gout, any of these sort of things, uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you do, what you think. Uh, if you have any suggestions for foods, if you need any suggestions for foods, <laughs> anything at all, leave something in the comments. And I hope that we can all get a little healthier in 2020. So, guys. Get up, get out, get rad, do it to it, even if you've got to cut out your beloved sodium. Rest in peace. We'll see y'all later.